When you are an electronics hobbyist, there are a lot of techniques to make an electronic circuit. Here you see how the computer, oh, sorry, how um, electronic boards were made in the 80s. This is a typical board from the 80s, from Philips amplifier and amplifier with germanium transistors. And this whole uh, circuit board is etched. And uh, you can also do that yourself, make a, a board that is etched. The way to do it is this way. You take some copper clad board here. This is for instance fiber board on the back side. It has two copper uh, layers on on each side, or oh, sorry, one copper layer on each side. And you cover the, um, the leads that you want to have later with uh, paint and you etch it for instance with this uh, chemical substance, ferrous sulfate. Uh, and after that you can clean it and then you have finally this result. This is one of the boards that I've etched in the past, perhaps 15 years ago or so. Uh, it had only one copper layer on one side, but uh, nowadays often fiber glass board is used and it has some better um, properties. So this is one way to make an electronic circuit. It takes much time. And it also takes a lot of time to develop a good board that works properly. So um, don't mistake yourself by thinking this is the ideal way to make my circuits. Uh, often such a board has to be developed uh, a few times and engineers are working on these boards, for instance such a board, for a half a year or so to get it all properly made. So uh, with no oscillations, uh, no uh, bad mass contacts, etc, etc. So it's not easy to develop a good proper um, board like this. This is also such a board from a television set from Germany. Typical how this all was made in the 80s. It's varnished finally with a sort of green varnish to get uh, proper uh, insulation. Um, but for the hobbyists there are a few other techniques. The technique that I always use is this um, brass nails on a well glued piece of wood. It has a lot of advantages, for instance uh, less capacitance or no capacitance very low capacitance. It's very important for instance when you make uh, high frequency circuits. There's also another method that's this, it's a perf board. Small holes are drilled here and on the back side you can make all the connections that you need. I found it uh, after 10 years or 15 years or so not very easy to make circuits on these boards. And the reason is that you always have to flip the board over and it can lead to uh, misunderstandings about how the circuit really looks like. So it's not so easy as it seems to make an uh, electronic circuit on this board, but of course it looks neat and uh, that's one consideration that uh, people have an electronic board has to look very neat. I um, don't think so, by the way. When you want to make uh, changes in an electronic board or in an electronic construction, this is not the right board to use. It's very difficult to make changes. And then this way to make an electronic circuit with brass nails works much better. This is uh, an audio amplifier, I've published it earlier on my channel. Completely made with uh, brass nails on wood, works very properly. And you can also 
easily make all kinds of